All right, guys, back again. Uh, it's doing a uh, uh, look at the uh, the new Wolverine from Hot Toys. Uh, this uh, just came out. Just uh, received this from Sideshow yesterday. So, just thought I'd do a uh, a quick uh, my thoughts video on it. Uh, noticed there's there's a lot of reviews, so I'm not gonna go into uh, you know too much depth with it. Just gonna give you my thoughts on it. Um, also gonna show you uh, the other two Wolverine figures from Hot Toys. Uh, give a little comparison to them. Um, and I'm gonna be showing you the uh, alternative look, uh, not the suit look, because uh, I think we've all seen that. So just getting into it, the, uh, the new head sculpt here. Uh, it's real nice. There's uh, definitely uh, Jackman in there. Paint job is nice. Uh, digging the new hairstyle. Very cool look. Uh, a lot of sharp detail in that hair. Looks to me like it's probably uh, multi-layered, meaning that like they put some additional parts onto the sculpt to kind of give it that extra added dimension to kind of see where that might have happened. Not sure the seams are really tight if there is, but it just kind of comes across that way. Um, you know, skin tone and paint, really nice. You can see the, uh, you know, the age spots. Um, one of the things right off the bat, obviously, is the, the mustache. A lot of people complaining about that. And, uh, it's a valid complaint. I mean, it's no big deal to me, uh, but it is definitely a little too dark. But it does uh, definitely does not kill the figure for me at all. Um, this time around, they used the uh, original Hot Toys Wolverine body. Uh, which is the same one we received on the Origins. Um, just a quick note, um, if someone is trying to sell you this body as if it's an Origins body, uh, you'll note there's no extra... Get some weird color there. There's no extra hairs painted underneath the neck like the origins version which I'll get to I'll show you that but uh, definitely just a quick note help you guys out anyone trying to pick up stuff parts on the aftermarket something to look out for um, the pan back and give you a look at the uh, the whole outfit in that weird lighting thing again. Kind of coming across yellow and it's not. Sorry about that. But uh, let's pan down and show you the, uh, the whole look. So I guess now we can start back at the bottom. This is the uh, alternative outfit. And uh, the boots. Really well done. Uh, I don't know if anyone's uh, captured this. The, uh, the scuff marks on the, the work boots kind of gives it a real, real authentic look. Comes across as natural. Thought that was a nice touch. Um, standard Hot Toys stand, the uh, the Wolverine. Um, some kind of jean cargo pants, uh, elastic type belt, and you know the wife beater vest, whatever you want to call it. Um, one of the main accessories, obviously, being the uh, the sword with the Japanese writing on it, really nicely done.
Um, I did go with the uh, bone claws on this particular version because I've got the other two and definitely a nice new inclusion from Hot Toys to go with the bone claws. Give you a closer look at those. Really nice detail, nice texture. Definitely going to be great for some bashes, you know, anyone wants to bash an origin Wolverine or, you know, Vietnam or World War II era, that's definitely going to come in handy. Um, they, uh, they painted the, pretty much the entire body, the chest has the uh, hair painted as well as the arms. Gives it a nice, authentic look. It's real good, just like the Origins figure. And then back up to this new head sculpt. Really nice. Real nice paint job. They've definitely done a little something different, which is cool. I like it. The, uh, the the eyes painted off to the side a bit. You know, we've already got two other Wolverines with their eyes painted straight. So I'm not always a fan of the the eyes painted to the side, but this time around, uh, it's welcome. Uh, let's do a little comparison. Give you a, a look at the the Origins figure I've been talking about. Let's push this guy to the side. So this is the uh, the original, the very first Hot Toys Wolverine uh, from Origins. It's a pretty good sculpt. You know, it's slightly dated, but uh, really only comes down to you know the Hot Toys paint apps have definitely improved over the uh, the years. So get a little more more detail nowadays but this is by far not a bad paint job you know obviously you can see the uh, the mustache is not an issue here which is good it's a different hairstyle um, you can see right there the uh, hairs I'm talking about on the neck sorry That's only found on the uh, the Origins figure. Uh, this was a pretty cool outfit too back in the day. It's uh, probably still one of the cooler outfits out of all the Hot Toys figures. The only uh, shame of it is all the uh, the bootlegs that came afterwards. Uh, this is definitely an original. I picked this up uh, from, I believe, BBTS when it first came out. One of the first bunch of figures in my uh, collection when I started collecting Hot Toys. He was like maybe the fifth Hot Toys figure I ever picked up. And uh, metal claws. You can see even the little rivets in the jeans. Their attention to detail is, you know, great even back then. Still a very cool figure. And then uh, we come to the uh, the other Hot Toys release, which was the Last Stand. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. 
waiting. If you come across yellow, sorry about that, guys. It's definitely not that yellow. I think it's the LED lighting I'm using. It's throwing the camera off. But hopefully that shouldn't hurt the detail. Um, this, this is one of the most uh, detailed sculpts they've done. Wolverine, you know, with the, the teeth showing. Uh, definitely excellent paint apps as usual. Uh, this is classic Wolverine, you know, Wolverine in the X-Men outfit. It's the most iconic look for Wolverine, I think. So, give you a quick look at all three figures together. Uh, any of you guys on the fence that uh, wondering, you know, is this new figure worth picking up? But you get a look at all three if you've got the other ones. It'll give you a good idea on. How they stack up? They're all pretty much the uh, the same height. They all bring a little something different. The new version here in the middle uh, definitely brings the nicest accessories. You get the bone claws, the adamantium claws, the sword, two outfits. Um, so with that, you can't go wrong. Uh, the most iconic, obviously, being the uh, last stand Wolverine. And possibly still the coolest is the uh, the Origins version, but uh, that's a look at all three of them. Very cool figures. Can't go wrong with either one or all of them. Uh, so I'll just give you another quick look at all three head sculpts up close, so you guys can get an idea of progression it focuses there we go You can see there the difference in the paint. More realism that they're they're achieving these days. All right, guys, well, uh, that about sums it up. Quick look, my thoughts, all, uh, all three Hot Toys Wolverine figures. Uh, hope that helps you guys get a, an idea of the difference. Uh, 
if you guys are on the fence on this one I hope it helps you make a decision definitely all three are cool all worth owning uh, highly recommended figures uh, especially for Wolverine fans really sorry about the weird lighting effects I've, I've noticed throughout the review uh, but right there that is the natural skin tone uh, so that's it I don't want to run us any any longer thanks uh, very much for watching uh, till next time I'll catch you later